Welcome to the great CC tutorial on how to critique stories. This is something all members can do on CC, and critiquing is how you earn credit to submit your own things. So we will get started from the home page. You can access the story queue from home by going up here to stories and choosing story queue. This will take you to all of the stories that are actively up for review right now. The queues are separated by genre, category, market, and that can help you to kind of skim and choose something that might interest you. So what you do is you go down the list. If you find something interesting, hover, and you can kind of read the first paragraph, check for content advisories, see if it's something you like. When you find something you like, click the title, and you will come to this page. And this will give you a chance to read the story before you commit to critiquing it. So let's say that this is the story we will work with. And whatever reason I have for choosing this story is my reason. It can be in the genre that I like. It can be a length of a story I'm comfortable working with. Perhaps I'm friends with the author. Whatever reason I have, it's a valid reason. You can kind of take your time to look around. You do have a few options. You can print it out on paper if that's helpful. If you like the story but you don't have much feedback, you can just like it and let them know you enjoyed it. If you want to critique it but don't have time today, you can bookmark it and come back later. So we are going to go ahead and do a critique on this right now. So we will choose Write Critique. This is the page that we will come to. Now the thing about CC is that the number of credits you earn for a critique are predetermined based on the submission. You do not get more credits based on writing more words. So the system will always tell you up front how many credits that story is worth to you. And so let's say that we've decided that we like the story enough, we're going to go ahead and make the time investment to go ahead and critique it. Now the thing about CC is that CC is all about helping you connect with like-minded people so that you can build relationships. And so when you are critiquing a new person, it's definitely a good idea. Be engaging, be friendly, introduce yourself. Maybe let them know why you thought their story was interesting. That helps you just start a relationship and it will definitely make them more likely to respond and critique you. The system will save your words so that if you have to start over or if your computer crashes, the system will save it so you don't have to start over. So we're gonna go down and we were going to do a critique one paragraph at a time. We click on a paragraph, we get this box, and this is where we offer feedback. And whatever feedback you have to give them is helpful feedback. If you are good at grammar, let them know that's what you're going to focus on. If you are good at high-level plot character things, let them know that's what you're looking at. Whatever constructive feedback you have is good feedback and that's what you should share. You should definitely work to your strengths. So we are going to give them, uh, we always want to encourage you to offer feedback that is both positive and negative because we believe that part of the process of improving is letting someone know what their strengths are, what they are good at, and you can let them know this part is very good, do more of this, and that can help them improve the whole thing overall. So we definitely want you to balance good with bad. So we've given them a little bit of good news, and now we're going to go down and give them a little bit of bad news. And when you give them negative feedback, we definitely want you to give them negative feedback, but do so in a way that is diplomatic, friendly. I'll always let them know that you respect their knowledge, you are suggesting things, you are there to help them improve, and so you there are ways to offer bad news that sound diplomatic. And if you want a little more practice on that, the FAQ page does have some real-life examples of very good diplomatic critiques that you can look at and check out how they did it. So here's a little bit of negative feedback that we've given this person. You can be as detailed as you want to be. You have the freedom to write as many words as you need to write to say what you want to say, get your point across. So we're going to go down, and as you can see, over to the left, there is a little gray flag. You see that little flag there? That is a bookmark. And what you can do is, if you realize you have to stop, and if you're working with a very long submission with a lot of paragraphs, 
you can use this to mark exactly what sentence you were working on when you stopped. So then when you return to it later, that can help you immediately pick up where you left off. So we're going to go ahead and keep going on this a little bit. We're going to do every paragraph. You can not either read the whole thing and then go back and offer thoughts. You can not offer thoughts as you're reading for the first time. Whatever method works for you, that's your method and that's fine. So we're going to get here and we're going to see that this is a very long paragraph and we don't want to try to stop and count the number of sentences. So we are just going to copy paste. You can copy paste directly out of the author's work. This, the system will re recognize it and it will not count toward your words. But what you do want to do is find a way to differentiate what you've copied. Make it a different color, do something so that as the author is skimming your feedback, they can see what was their words and what was your words. So then we are going to, this gives us a chance to offer very specific feedback on a sentence or even a word where we got tripped up. And always keep in mind that I am never accusatory. I am saying this is my perception. This is where I got lost. And one more thing to keep in mind, all valid critiques on CC must be at least 300 words. If you do not have 300 words of feedback, you don't have to crit them. You can send them a PM, you can like the story, you can leave them a comment so that you don't have to come up and sit and say, what am I going to say for 300 words? If you're going to do a critique and you want the full credit for it, it must be at least 300 words worth of legitimate feedback. And that is something that the moderators check throughout the day as we go. We do like to spot check and particularly with newbies, we keep an eye on newbies to make sure that they're doing a good job. So then when we're done, at the bottom down here, if the author has asked specific follow-up questions, it is a good idea to take the time to answer those questions, be as helpful, as specific as you can possibly be, so that when they sit and read the critique, you don't want them to say, well, what, what did the critter mean by that? Where did they get confused? What are they complaining about? Your job as a critter is to be as specific and as constructive as you possibly can be. And the more that you do this well, the more likely they are to remember you, thank you, come back and critique your stuff in return. So you do have a few options down here, bold, italic, you have smileys. A lot of times with our longtime members who become friends, you will see a lot of smileys and things like that in their critiques. That's part of the culture here when you start making friends with people. So now I'm going to view critique, and I definitely do want to take a little bit of time to look over this, because after I have sent it, it is gone. I want to make sure that I have been thorough, I want to look back over it, maybe if it's been a few days since I started it. I want to make sure that everything I said is polite, everything I said is appropriate. If I glance at something here and I say, oh, I, I forgot this, I missed this, or whatever, this is my chance to go back and fix it, because once it's gone, it's gone. And you can see here, when I highlighted that copy-paste and turned it red, that is what the author will see. And let's say I go down here and I say, oh, now that I think about it, I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe it's not appropriate yet for me to have smileys. I want to get rid of that. I will not use the back button. I will use this edit button. And the edit button will take me back here where I can change, add, delete, whatever I want to do to my heart's content until I am pleased with my critique. I am going to delete that. The author will never see it. And now I am viewing critique again, and now I will give one more scan to make sure that everything is to my liking. And when I am pleased with my critique, I will hit send. And once it is sent, I get a page that tells me, congratulations, you critiqued it, here's how many credits you earned for it. If you like the story, you can let them know that you liked it. That like is public knowledge. So only do that if you want the public to know. Once you have critiqued something, you are in the inner circle of everyone else who critiqued it, and you can go back and see what did other critters say. If you are new at critting, this is a good idea, good chance for you to see 
some of the more experienced, established critters, what kind of feedback did they give, and how does their feedback compare to mine? And that's another great chance for you to learn how to be a better critter. One more thing for me to show you here, if you did have to stop a critique for whatever reason, go here, and this will take you to my critiques where you can find a critique in progress so that if you had to take a break for whatever reason, that's where it will be where you can finish it up. And so this is the process of earning credits, doing critiques. I hope it was helpful. If you have more questions, let us know.